All right, welcome back guys. In this lecture, we are just gonna take a look at the API examples. I just wanna uh, explain to you kind of like the basic structure of um, the way you write the API here. Uh, everything in React DND, the modern one, or maybe like the latest version, I think, is using hooks and writing stuff here is really, really simple. But I also wanna take time to take it slow and explain things um, very consistently so we will actually be dissecting a simple use drag hook here so this is the hook that you will use to make a component draggable so now we have a component called task card and i want to make this component draggable and to do that i am using the use drag hook now the use drag hook like any other hook it will return an array that has uh two things one is um the one here is the DOM ref. So this is the ref that you will actually attach to whatever uh, DOM element you want to make it draggable. And the second thing is the prop object, the props object. So this is uh, the props that gets added to your component based on your collecting functions. If that doesn't make any sense yet, just hold on. We It will all make sense right now. But generally speaking, you need to know that there are two elements coming back from the use drag hook. One is the props, an object that has the props that will be added to your component based on your collecting functions. And second is the ref. You use that ref to attach to whatever DOM element in your component that you want to make it draggable. Now, the use drag hook also, like any other hook, will take an initial value. And that initial value has three things in it. One, the items object. So the item object is uh, defines the type of that draggable item. So it will define it as a card or an image or whatever. And second thing is uh, events. So this is uh, these are functions to be executed on your drag, on your drop, on the drag happens, when the drop happens, and so on. And the last thing is collecting functions. So these are the functions that will work to add props that will come in your props object and you can add these props to your components. All right, so let's uh, take a look at one simple example so that we can make sense of all those things. So here we have a component called task card and we are making task card draggable by using the used drag uh, hook over there. Okay, that's not a very good way to highlight stuff. Here we go. So this is what we're using here, the use drag hook. And you can see here the use drag hook is returning uh, drag, which is going to be the DOM ref that we are going to attach to our div. And you can see that we already done that over there. So this is uh, how we are using this ref itself. So over there, so ref equals, ref equals drag. And we also have uh, this object which contains is dragging prop and is dragging prop here is uh, a very simple prop that we are adding to our components using this collecting function here. So this collecting function here is saying take the monitor and if the monitor is dragging is true, then is dragging itself, which is in this case here, this is uh, the prop, is dragging itself becomes true as well. So what happens here is whenever this component is being dragged, what happens is that the monitor itself here is uh, going to turn is dragging to true, and that is going to reflect back on having is dragging object here to be true as well. So when the is dragging object is true, this is going to make is dragging prop available to us in our component. Okay, that's good. So uh, the second thing is happening here is also we have the item. We have the item here. So this is the object that, this, that defines what kind of draggable source this is. And here you can see that I am uh, defining a type. So the type here is unscapable. You always have to have a type for your draggable components. So you have to have a type, and that's how React DND knows whether it's a card and where to drop it, whether it's an image and where to drop it. But I'm also adding here something uh, called the ID. So I want to not only send the type, I also want to send the ID. And the reason for this is because um, you can see this here, I'm calling this a task card. So it's a task, 
and we will get to that ex specific example in the next section but it's simply a task and i want to pass to the drop target the id of that task so it can execute a function using that id and the way you would do that is basically by uh, passing other stuff into your item object over there all right, so, okay, just to recap everything. So here we have the hook, use drag, and use drag hook is returning two things. One is the ref that's being used in the DOM element, and second is an object that contains all, um, all the props that you wanna add to your component based on whatever DND events that are happening. And the way you would do that is through collecting functions. These collecting functions, uh, the way they work is uh, through observing what's going on in your monitor. So whenever monitor is dragging is true, um, the prop is dragging becomes true as well. And you can use that to do whatever you want in your component. The last piece of the puzzle here is the item types is the item types and item types here uh, it's an object that here has to have an item type so that type here is extremely important because that's the only way uh, react dnd can actually know where to drop this and where not to drop it and the uh, second thing i'm passing through here also is the id because i need that id to execute something on the other side all right, I will stop highlighting stuff on the screen and I will show you guys what I've written here. I thought it would be a better idea just to uh, highlight it so it's kind of clearer, but it's the same thing again. This is your ref to attach the DOM element. When monitor is dragging is true, you add the prop called is dragging. And when the item object, uh, you pass in the item object that has the type and has the ID as well. That's all when it comes to example. In the next section, we are going to jump into the code and write a very, very simple um, Kanban board that has two, only two lists. One is work in progress and the second is done tasks. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.